What's up guys and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we are going to be reviewing the Glorious GMMK or the Glorious Modular Mechanical Keyboard. Obviously everything's all in the name, modular meaning that you can swap out the switches incredibly easily without the need for soldering and that's this keyboard's main selling point. Today we're going to be reviewing the compact edition or the 60% version of the GMMK. I did order a 10 kilos version of the GMMK. Still waiting on my switches to get here because we're going to be doing a full build on my version of the GMMK. But this keyboard honestly is one of the best things that you can get for the price. It does start to get a little bit more expensive obviously once you complete the keyboard depending on the type of switches and keycaps that you go with because we all know that that can cost an arm and a leg or it can cost very little it is a hundred percent dependent on you but for this particular build we have the glorious gmmk bare bones build as well as some kale bronze speed switches and then we also have a matrix keycap set on this keyboard big shout out to my friend STHTNT for hooking me up and letting me borrow his gmmk to review as well as like all the other stuff that he gave me so this review will be lit like the matrix keycaps that he has on there as well as his swift shell cable it looks so sick thanks for letting me borrow it i will have his link in the description below so you guys can check out his channel as well he also does make reviews as well as some gameplay videos don't worry i'm gonna give you guys some typing tests and all that stuff so that you guys can hear how these switches sound but let's talk about the keyboard first really quick so like i said again this keyboard is modular meaning that you can swap out the switches and that's about it you can swap out the switches maybe the stabilizers and that's about the extent of the mods and that's really about all you need but in terms of the build quality of the keyboard it is very solid i would almost give it a perfect 10 except for one little thing. It has micro USB, which is really unfortunate. I wish it had USB-C. I feel like that would make a lot more sense. But um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's time for them to come out with an updated version of the GMMK with USB-C. But otherwise, it's a metal feeling build. Like I'm pretty sure the top plate is metal and maybe a little bit on the sides. But the bottom definitely does feel like plastic. It is height adjustable and you do have the keycap puller stuck inside the bottom of the keyboard. So you'll never worry about like losing the keycap puller as long as you return it to the appropriate spot you got some rubber feet so the keyboard won't move around on your desk or mouse pad and the switches that the gmmk accepts are plate mounted switches so if you do get the pcb mounted switches you will have to take off the little points on the pcb mounts luckily all the switches that i have and that the keyboard was bought with are all plate mounted so we didn't have to worry about doing any modifications to the switches or anything so that's really good and overall i would give the build quality an 8 out of 10 because it is super solid feeling it's really nice probably the best feeling 60 percent keyboard in terms of build that i've used after using the ducky one too many that had a mostly plastic construction with a metal plate in the middle for a solid feeling and the amp pro 2 that was a little bit more plasticky but still felt pretty solid this is definitely the best it would be nice if they came out with like a silver version of the gmmk that would be cool in terms of the rgb and the software the rgb lights they aren't the brightest lights but they are pretty nice and it does help that with these matrix pudding keycaps you can see the rgb extremely easily and it looks really cool glorious in their software they do have a lot of really cool effects i'm not gonna say their software is the most customizable it's pretty basic as most of glorious's software is pretty basic but the RGB effects that they have in there are plentiful and they are really cool. Now let's talk about the Kale Bronze Speed Switches. I do like these switches quite a bit. Like they are very good. They're super crispy. I'll let you guys have a quick sound test in a minute. But first, just kind of want to let you know like where the switch kind of is. So it is a clicky switch. I will say that there's mostly a tactile bump, but it's not as clicky and loud and obnoxious as like a Chair MX Blue. This one is like if you cut a blue switch in like half in terms of the sound it's not nearly as like loud and annoying as like a blue is like this one is more like audible but tactile and satisfying all at the same time it's like really weird because it's like a really cool feeling because personally i don't really like clicky or tactile switches i'm really more of a linear guy but i do like these switches
Overall, this is a very solid keyboard. You have a lot of adjustability here, obviously because it's modular. If you don't like a particular switch, let's say that you buy a ton of switches, you try them out for a month, you realize you don't like them, or maybe you just want to try something else. You have the luxury of being able to buy more switches, pop your old switches out, and put your new switches in. And then let's say that you know you want to try out some switches, see if you like them. Maybe you're going to modify them. Maybe you're going to lube them. Maybe you're going to swap the springs. Maybe you're going to put some films in them. You want to do all that stuff. You can put the switch in the keyboard first, test it out, see if you like it. Then after you figure out that you do like it, then you can modify your switches. Just pop them all out instead of worrying about soldering and desoldering and all that stuff because you already know that you didn't get a bad switch. And that way it's easy to test, modify, adjust, do anything that you want with your keyboard because this one is so flexible. Even though this connector is micro USB, you can still use custom cables for the connector. You don't have to use the one that it came with. It works just fine, but it's not proprietary. So you can still use any other micro USB custom cable. This one, my boy George, he opted for a Swift Shells cable and it does look really cool. This one is the laser edition and you got a black aviator and it looks super good. The coils are kind of tiny, but they do look really good. They're not overly springy, but they are decent. But yeah, overall, the Glorious G MMK, I'm pretty impressed with it. It looks really nice. The only thing that I kind of wish was a little bit better, like I said, was I wish it had USB-C instead of micro USB. But other than that, if you can get over that, you can use this. And this would be the only keyboard you would ever have to buy. The only thing you would ever have to do to it is swap out the switches. That's literally it. And the keycaps, of course, if you want to change the aesthetic. But that's it. That's all you need to do. There's nothing crazy you got to do. No soldering or desoldering. No crazy disassembly. Nothing. Just swap out the switches. And I know this isn't the only modular keyboard out there, but it is from a pretty decent name. Their software is good as well. And then they also have sales like all the time. Like, I want to say a couple weeks ago, Glorious had a sale where their keyboards were about 45 maybe about 50 or $60 for just the bare bones edition. And for me, that was like the perfect time to get one because obviously you can get a keyboard that you can customize on the cheap. You don't have to spend, you know, two or $300 on a hot swap of a board alone before you even get to the switches and everything. Now that allows you to spend more money on your switches, maybe a custom cable, some really nice custom keycaps. You know what I mean? Like Glorious, they're here for the people. They're not out for our pockets. And obviously this isn't really gonna compare to like a $200 keyboard. You know, that quality is just gonna be on another level, but for an entry level modular mechanical keyboard, this is really hard to beat. But all right, you guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Just want to let you guys know we are getting a lot closer to 10,000 subscribers. So uh, most definitely help out your boy, like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm so we can keep growing and keep on making all this crazy content for you guys and keep making new videos as often as we can. But if you guys got any other questions, feel free to join the Discord. Be happy to help you guys out in there. Or if you guys just wanna chill, hang out, play some games, the Discord is also a good place to do so too if you wanna connect with me directly. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I will catch you guys in the next video.